what started as a pre-pandemic passion has become the number one e-fed on the internet. This is The Undercar, Season 10, Episode 16, Series Finale. It all ends here. All 10 seasons collide in an epic conclusion. We have all the titles on the line. Tag Team Championship, Women's Championship, and of course, the Undertog, the Undercard Championship featuring me, your host, Underdog. All the titles on the line. I'm very excited. I might be stumbling. I might be mumbling, but I'll never get knocked down because you can't stop the train that is five years of this show. We also have cross-seasonal dream matches that you thought might have been impossible. Things might be a little bit different here in the series finale. We're not in Fire Promoter. We're going to use Exhibition Mode. We're going to start right now with the special guest battle royal. The special guest over the top rope battle royal featuring superstars and characters that were never featured on the series before. We're going to have it done inside the undercard arena. Big Garden. Referee should be Charles Robinson. There we go. And it will feature alphabetically 2B because we were going to do a season of all video game characters. And it will also feature let's see Indiana Jones. Because we were going to have a season of all movie characters. And these things were not done. So we must do them now. And also, L.A. Knight. I was going to have a whole series of fastest rising superstars. And obviously, there just wasn't enough of them to pan out a full season of the undercard. And we're going to have Tifa Lockhart. Because of memes. We were going to do a whole season of memes. And she was going to be there because Tifa was supposed to be in Tekken. And then never was. Let's see. Who's next? Optimus Prime. We were going to do a whole series of robots and outer space characters. I was going to have a season of space with like Optimus Prime and Darth Vader and stuff like that. And uh, obviously that never happened. And then, speaking of more memes, Pepsi Man. And he's also a video game character. Victoria, for obvious reasons. She's a female Hall of Famer. She just never made it in. And finally... It will be Stephanie McMahon, the Billion Dollar Princess. Here we go. Over the top rope, Battle Royal. It begins now. And of course, there's thunder in the background. I wouldn't have it any other way. As if I wasn't nervous what? enough. Last person in the ring will be the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, sizes, and creeds. German suplex by Optimus Prime. This is the undercard series yeah. finale, season 10, episode 16, with over 1,000 matches and over 100 episodes. There was a double drop kick in the corner, and then Tifa Lockhart is getting bombed by L.A. Knight and Stephanie McMahon. Holy crap, there's a lot of performers in the ring. Oh, double team maneuver. There's yeah. memes. There's dreams. Yeah. Double chair shot to Pepsi Man. Oh, God. And what the hell is Tifa doing backflipping for no reason? That's what Final Fantasy brings to you. Scoop slam there by Stephanie McMahon. Victoria just yeah. knocked somebody down and putting... Uh, I believe that's Pepsi Man in the leg lock, and now we have a strike battle. And the ladies are going at it too. Victoria with a gut buster to Stephanie McMahon, and another German suplex. 
Oh, there's so much going on. Pinfalls. Pinfall attempts and Optimus Prime's Autobots roll out! Oh! LA Knight just got hit by a big maneuver there. Optimus Prime! He is from outer space, technically. Believe it or not. This show will go until it's over. How about that one? Strike battle between 2B and Victoria, the ladies. Bringing it to you. There was also a chair shot there. Indiana Jones wants to be the top movie star and the top performer. The last one remaining in the ring, of course, and trying to throw LA at night into the corner, but that did not pan out for him. And now a strike battle. Oh, God. It was happening, and then they all got knocked down. There's so much chaos going on. Coconut Crusher and Knuckles Sandwiches. And now Stephanie McMahon is bending Harrison Ford backwards. Oh my god. Super kick into a suplex. Double moves from the women. And uh, a backslide there. Charles Robinson saying there's a rope break. This isn't over the battle, over the top rope battle royal, but uh, pinfalls and submissions both count as well. Whoever gets eliminated is out of here. This is a special guest battle royal to open up the series finale and a code breaker there by Indiana Jones. He just unlocked the secret and solved the mystery. 2K, okay. two count by 2B. Oh my God, and 2B almost got eliminated, but she's back in it. And Stephanie McMahon is back to her feet. Iris Whip, awkward bump, up against the rope, one, two, and oh, 2B was almost eliminated, and now Victoria takes that as well. Neck breaker by LA Knight over there in the corner. Optimus Prime is trying to chase somebody down, but nobody wants a part of him. He's too goddamn big. Oh my god, Alabama Slammer. Got wrench. Impaler DDT by Stephanie McMahon and LA Knight with a big boot to the back of Indiana Jones. Super kick by Tupa Lockhart. Stephanie McMahon throws her into the corner. There's so much going on right now. I don't know what to focus on. Sleeper yeah, hold. Yeah. yeah. Pimp Duke. Dominator. I'm just calling out moves. <laughs> Reversal. Slap to the face. The women's special slap. I can't believe it. You can't believe this is the last one. Yeah, well, all good things must come to an end. FC made it with the pedigree. I can't believe what I just seen. Victoria will take the Hall of Famer with her finisher move. And a double powerbomb for Indiana. And Tubi and People Lockhart are going at it. That's a dream match in itself, I'll tell you what. We got video game characters. We got memes. Dreammaker. We got movie stars. These are all the characters that did not make it into the series that I really wanted to put in somehow. LA Knight just got tossed into the corner. I don't know what the hell is going on anymore. Oh my god! It's been a long run. This show actually debuted in May of 2019. And will now be ending today. Unless my power goes out because there's a thunderstorm that should have been over. And Pepsi Man almost got eliminated. Victoria and Stephanie McMahon with a double move. Tifa with a knee to the gut. 2B just spun around in a circle and a headbutt to the groin of Optimus Prime. Does that work on a robot? I don't know. What is this? Oh, rest bump. There was a rest bump. What if somebody gets eliminated and the rest doesn't see it? What happens? Optimus Prime with a laugh ride and Victoria off the ropes collides into Tifa. Tiger bomb reversal. Oh, and a Pele kick for you. There's so much going on. Super hit. I wouldn't have it start any other way. Pepsi Man is yeah. the first one eliminated. And a Dominator by Victoria. Autobots roll out. The Prime Directive was just done. And a pedigree by Tifa with the knees to the back of the head. Submissions. I, I can't focus on... Oh, oh GTS! Indiana Jones is out! Indiana Jones is out! Hook of the leg! Two beats! Gotta kick out, but she can't! She's been eliminated! And an Irish slam for her as she was pounding into the face of Tubi, and I believe LA Knight was just eliminated. There's a lot of ladies left. All four women that started this battle royale are still in it. Yeah! Super kick by 2B, and Tifa says fuck you with a big boot. 
the video game characters are going at it and Optimus Prime is alone in the land of ladies. Wait, could he just left? She was supposed to be eliminated and she she was still in there. The thunder is rumbling in in the background. I'm not even joking, what the fuck? Stephanie McMahon up the top with an elbow! One! Two! Kangaroo kick and a kick out at the point nine classic fire pro count. Oh! What a beal toss. Autobots roll up! Optimus with a signature move there. He wants to be the winner, but he's got to get rid of all of these ladies, and Victoria just hit a signature move of her own. Don't go anywhere. We have some huge dream matches for you. We also have all the titles on the line and some really special one-time only showcases. Optimus Prime in the corner. Stephanie off the rope. Tifa! Oh! Go to fucking hell! The final fantasy with our final finisher! Oh! Ducks the punch! Gets reversed! And Victoria! With a signature sidewalk slam, but that might have gotten cancelled out too! They're just all getting involved with each other's business! In this special guest battle now! And there goes Victoria! Three characters remaining. It is the billion dollar princess Stephanie McMahon, Tifa Lockhart, and Optimus Prime. Who will be the winner? One time only! Oh god, double kick! That is not the sandwich you want to be a part of with those three. Slap to the face! There was already a ref bump on this show. What the heck is she doing? She got tossed out! She's out of here! It's down to Tifa and Optimus! Do it! One, two, three! Your winner of the special guest Battle Royal is Optimus Prime! We really should have cast him in one of the ten seasons, and we did not. Welcome to the series finale. Next up, it is a cross seasonal dream match because we could not have this show without him. It will be Andre the Giant versus Big Show right here live from season one and two winner Versus a se the season nine two-time champion. Where the hell? Where'd he go? Charles Robinson, where were you? <laughs> he disappeared. I could not find him. It's Andre. Versus Big Show. The storm is brewing. But we're still going. The biggest match of all time cross seasonal dream match here we go fight fight the world's largest athlete versus the ninth wonder of the world sidewalk slam by big show test of strength who's bigger who's stronger they're both two-time undercard champions Sledgehammer to the back by Andre. Oh, and just an elbow knocks down Big Show. And another test of strength between the two. Andre falls down. You don't see that too often. Knee to the gut. Big Show with a cross face. Submission. I mean, this is going to be a slow paced match anyway. No reason to do that. Big Show's just trying to fend him off and Andre throwing some strikes as well. This could turn into a brawl, and in that case, Big Show is the better of the two in terms of striking power. Whoa. Suplex! That just shook the damn arena. Holy cow. Do not go anywhere. We also have huge dream matches. We got Ric Flair versus John Cena. We got Roman versus Gunther in a dream rematch. 
And of course, in the main event, it will be Kenny Omega versus Godzilla, the undercard championship. Elbow to the back and just a kick to the face. Nothing pretty, nothing fancy. <gasps> just two giant woolly mammoths going at it, locking horns, trying to chop them in the head. And Andre says, no. Shut that down, close the window. Vessel. No, just a strike to the face and a big backbreaker. 500 pound Big Show getting tossed by a 500 pound Andre the Giant. Both maximum size, maximum strength. Punch to the gut, almost unaffected. In the corner we go. Flash and he moves out of the way. Andre with the quickness that you never see. And face first into the turnbuckle. Do not get between them, referee. That would not be good. Headbutt. Five minutes Knee. gone. Five minutes gone in this contest. Elbow. Usually Andre puts people away with that. Stopped his momentum off the rope, slapping him away. Big Show just using those strikes to keep him down. First pinfall attempt of the match, only a two count there. Knee to the gut, and the knees into the canvas, stomping on him. Andre was the most dominant champion until we saw Godzilla this season in season 10. Andre won season one and two back to back and was only pinned once in his entire career. Three, four. It was by Earthquake and then was critically knocked out by Kiryu. Oh, and he might have been knocked out right there. Weapon of mass destruction by Big Show. Holy shit, the biggest punch to the biggest man by the biggest kick out. Oh my God. Oh! <laughs> Big Show is swinging from the fences. Trying to knock this one out of the park and somehow Andre survives two back-to-back -back big KO punches. Elbow. Caught him off the wrist. Caught him off the nose. What the hell is going on? Twitch is running some crazy video ad on the side of my screen. I can't even see. God damn it! <gasps> the National Weather Service has sent me an alert that there might be a goddamn earthquake in the middle of this one because these two men are too damn big. Backbreaker. Snapping them in half. That's going to be a rope break. Did I... I, I don't know if I put settings behind this one, but we're going to let it roll. Might have to double check the settings of the ma next match. There was a another WMD and another kick out by Andre. Well, Big Show's been dealing the damage, but Andre's been just taking it face first. No fucks given. Ten minutes gone. You want to cry because this is the last one? Like I said, all good things must come to an end. And people keep telling me they want more. Well, I'll tell you what. That's how I should end things. Bear hug. Bear hug by Andre. You got to leave him wanting more. Chokes. Oh, my God. How in the world did he lift the 500 plus pound Andre the Giant with that? One, two, and it's over. Big show is the real largest athlete. Well, well, it's the big show. Andre just could not deal with those punches. And now it is time for our first championship match of the show. It is going to be for the undercard Tag Team Championship in a barbed wire death match.
It will be Team Halloween versus Team ha Team Driver. Team Halloween versus Team Driver. There will be barbed wire surrounding the ring. So it will be tornado style. First team to gain a victory or a, a pinfall or a critical knockout or a submission will get the victory and will be the undercard tag team champions forever. I mean, this is the match we've been building up to. Team Driver has been featured in these finales before, so this is kind of interesting to see this happen once again. And also, earlier this season, we had uh, Down to the Wire 2, which was a premium live event featuring barbed wire death matches, and Team Halloween kind of skipped that event, so at least we get to see it here. Why is it not saving my referee? What is happening? Fire Pro, don't Fuck it up! Fight! There's gonna be violence. This one's gonna get extreme. Scoop slam by Michael Myers and a spear by Leatherface. And Jerry Lynn is going back at it. Back to his feet with an elbow and a stomp to Leatherface. Tommy Dreamer now having to deal with Michael Myers. Elbow to the back. Slap to the yeah. chest. Leatherface with a big set of knees to the back of Tommy Dreamer's head trying to knock him out already. This one could be a quick match. The first of three championship matches here on the show. Oh, into the barbed wire goes Jerry Lynn. The first to taste the steel barbed wire. Ripping his flesh open and that's what Leatherface and Michael Myers are looking to do. They don't care about the titles, they care about the violence, the pain, the gore. They're here for blood. And Tommy Dreamer's no stranger to any of that. Oh, the innovator of violence, Tommy Dreamer. And a spear by Leatherface. Oh, into the barbed wire he goes. Explosion. And both members of Team Driver getting knocked down there. Leatherface missed that time. Team Halloween with the double massacre. Goodbye, Dreamer. Texas Cloverleaf and a kick to the face. Nice interruption there by Jerry Lynn to save his partner. Barbed wire collides with the flesh of Tommy Dreamer. Oh my God, the thunder is crazy. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? No! Go away! Go away, you stupid storm! Barbed wire! Deathmatch. Tag team titles on the line here. Sleeper hold. Can you put Michael Myers to sleep? How does that work? I don't know. Uh-oh. Punching, kicking, doing anything they can to hold on to those belts. Team Halloween, the most dominant tag team in undercard history. They survived three seasons of this show and were only defeated once. And it was in the final season. The super kick there by Jerry Lynn and Tommy Dreamer getting those knees to the back of his head. That could be a TKO. They could be claiming victory early. Leg drop to the back of the head of Mike Myers. Texas suplex. And Halloween may have come early for Michael Myers as he's just scooping and slamming Jerry Lynn. Team driver might be facing a disaster here as they are getting verbally assaulted <laughs> and physically injured. But wait, Tommy Dreamer with the big hands. Irake. He's going to sleep. Save him. Save him, Jerry Lynn. What are you doing? Stop adjusting your wrist pads, you idiot. There you go. <laughs> Jerry Lynn a little bit distracted, and he's going to pay for that. Oh. Suplex. Hammer fix. Double knockdown. Michael Myers taking care of the contenders by himself. Pile driver, no, he saved his partner. Super kick. Michael Myers got kicked right in the mask. And there might be an ad here in a minute, but the undercard will roll on here live on Twitch. 
and later post it on the YouTube where you can see all the episodes of this series, all 10 seasons, live, or at least they'll be up there posted somehow, somewhere. You know where to find it. You know what to do. You know what it's going. You know what it is? Yeah, boy! Final! Oh, Leatherface dropped on his head! Hook of the leg! One! Two! Oh no, Michael Myers was distracted, but not for long enough, and a Baldo bomb for Tommy Dreamer, who might be a Oh, kick out! Team Driver almost had a win and a defeat in a heartbeat. One, two! Leatherface with a body splash didn't finish it, but there's blood everywhere! Oh my god! Everybody's getting thrown into the barbed wire at this point, and a Dreamer DT in the center! Tommy Dreamer! It's trying to put him to sleep! And a hurricane of pinfalls! Submission and a pinfall at the same time! One! No! Only a one count on Leatherface. On the shoulders, Dreamer Driver! Team Driver has used the pile driver and the 3 They're using all their moves. They're trying to get it done. Twisting Michael Myers' leg, trying to rip that thing off of his body. And Leatherface just enjoying himself in a pool of blood. As you do, ready to make some chili! Oh, there's violence everywhere! Stabbing him in the head, kneeing him in the head, and it's over! I think it's over! They had to tap out, they had no choice! They were just getting put in punishment! And the winners and still forever tag team champions! Team Halloween! Oh my god. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> well, next step, we have a one-on-one -on -one cross seasonal dream match. We're going all the way back to the early seasons with Christopher Daniels from SCU versus Daniel Bryan in ROH slash AEW match that has only taken... I believe this match only happened once in ROH, and it, it should have happened again. I mean, these are two of the top technical wrestlers of all time, and uh, they're going to fight for the Daniels name. It's Brian Danielson or Daniel Bryan versus Christopher Daniels. Here we go. We're just going to let it roll. Fight. Let the good times roll. And interestingly enough, the last time we saw Christopher Daniels, I believe, was in season three when he was part of a tag team with Kazarian. It, it might have been season two, but it was way back in the day. We're talking like during the COVID pandemic when the world had stopped. And uh, so this is his first singles match. And Daniel Bryan is one of only two performers that has had handicap matches in the undercard. Interestingly enough, the other one was Andre the Giant. Daniel Bryan, enough of a man to wrestle two men by himself. He's crazy. He's goaded. And he's headed towards what potentially could be his final match in real life at AEW All-In. Title versus career for yeah. Daniel Bryan with a kick to the head of Christopher Daniels. I mean, these two have so many similarities. And their level of skill is at the peak. We're talking Fallen Angel Christopher Daniels. A person that put TNA on the map and the devastating knee to the arm. Daniel Bryan just loosening up the limbs and a series of European uppercuts there. Bryan knows how to tear the human body apart off the ropes. No. Nope. Went for a kick. That did not connect. And now again, look at this. The arm control and the knee. Oh, he's just trying to snap his arm backwards or something. Get him ready for that LaBelle lock, perhaps. And Christopher Daniels is not going to be a fan of that and has to fight back. Here he goes. Strike battle. Exchange between the two. 
punches and uppercuts. Braiding blows. That's what we like to see. And I'm going to kick your fucking head in, says Daniel Bryan. Oh! The referee just let that happen. Uppercut, the thrust by Christopher Daniels. Hip toss by Daniel Bryan. Oh, yes! No, yes, maybe. Into the corner. Christopher Daniels setting up for something, perhaps. Oh, an STF, a submission now by Daniels. And he is a well-rounded performer. He's got moves in all categories. You want high-flying? We got that. You want submissions? He's got that. Hook of the leg, but that's going to be a rope break. Good call by the referee, Charles Robinson, who was referee for the first half of Season 10 and will be refereeing tonight. Oh, uh, big suplex. And a twisting leg lock. Off the ropes. What's for breakfast? Rebound. Oh, what the hell? Oh, my. Backslide and a half. And now a jumping suplex there by Christopher Daniels. Suplexed him right out of the damn ring and is now there's a count. Hey, referee's discretion. He said, you better get back in here. And he's going to di get disqualified. That's why I should have tested the settings before this match, but we're letting it go. Oh, low blow. LaBelle lock! LaBelle lock! Daniel Bryan with his finisher submission. It's locked in, but he is. Uh, uh, Daniel's escaped quickly. Christopher, I should say. Suplex. Get the hell out of here. Salute. Have a good time on the outside in front of the crowd here live. This has been the first half hour of the series finale. Elbow in the center. Christopher with a taunt. Oh, modified Omoplata. Daniel Bryan was on his head there for a second. Uncomfortable position. Almost a botch. You almost never see that from five. Oh, wait, no. Backslide reversal out of the Angels wings. We almost saw the Angels Wings! And he's gonna do it! Angels Wings! We haven't seen that since like season two! Five years ago! One! Two! And a kick out. Two and a half. 2.9. European uppercuts by Brian. Oh, yes! Ten minutes into this cross seasonal dream match. We're paying homage, paying homage to the old season. Oh, Christopher Daniels with that signature move, that submission, the midnight binding in the STO. Drop kick by Dan Daniel Bryan, the American Dragon. Back and forth we go. Yuranagi right in the center of the ring. No excuses. Picks him up by the head. Goes behind. Oh, backdrop. Turns him upside down. And now Christopher Daniels with an STF. Turning the page on what could have been a disaster of a match. It's turning out to be more even than we thought it would be. Most people look at this matchup and they just assume Daniel Bryan wins easy. But no, no, no. This is peak Christopher Daniels, man. We're talking like 2006, 2017 A era. Go back and watch it. Trust me on this. I'm a wrestling fan. I know what I'm talking about. Oh, backdrop in the corner. Both men down, slow to recover. Off the ropes. Rebound, drop kick, but he whiffed. And an uppercut staggered him for a second, and he struck back. Fallen Angel, American Dragon, going at it. Oh, rolling elbow. And no one for you. Rolling over with a neck breaker. Trying to snap his neck. And Brian Daniels. Daniel Bryan. Oh, whatever you want to call him. He got kicked in the face there. He has a history of neck injuries. And Christopher Daniels knows that. So he's got to focus on that neck more if he wants to end this one. 
Rolling leg lock. A master of submissions. He'll pick a body part and he'll snap it in half. Crowd finally getting into it. Drop kick sends him out of the ring. And now Daniel Bryan going to take this time to gain his composure. What the hell? <laughs> that didn't work. Off the ropes. Awkward collision. No, ducks under. Botch! We had a ref bump and a botch. And now we're one away from the trifecta. All we need is a stolen finisher. They're going on the outside. Attempt for a pinfall. This would be a horrible time to get counted out. Don't have this match end in count out. This will bring back shades of the early seasons when I didn't have the no count out rule. Christopher Daniels gets inside. It's a Japanese 20 count. And there's disqualification. Drop that chair. Drop the chair. Oh, no. Yes, 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 yes with the taunts. Oh, fly me, Psycho! Hook in the leg. One, two. No. How the hell was that not the end? Backbreaker. Daniel Bryan did not stop for a second. He's continuing here. Reversal. Small package. The master of the small package and a kick out of two. That's a horrible thing to be nicknamed, by the way. His wife ain't complaining. Am I right, boys? Hey. Wait. Oh, crossroads. What did he call that? Yeah. Dead to right? Stolen signature. We have the trifecta in the finale. BME. Best moonsault ever. He stole his signature and it was a low blow. Roll up. One, two. Oh, my God. We had the trifecta already in the finale. I couldn't have wrote that in a script if I wanted to. Yes kicks by Daniel Bryan. All the way across the ring. Holy shit. One, two. And this one's still going. Christopher Daniels kicked that small package, but there's going to be a rope break there. Slap to the chest and Daniels falls all the way to the ground. Roll up again. One, two, no! The hell is going on? Lock up. Uranagi onto a pile of weapons. Going for the best moonsault ever? No, wait. He's waiting. What's he waiting for? Diving Hurricanrana. Who knows what Daniels is going to pull out next? Oh, a drop, drop toe hold. Brian. Locked in, drop down, DDT. They both got up at the same exact moment. What the hell? Daniel Bryan with the special. That arm bar, but there was a rope break. High kick missed. 20 minutes into this match. And I, it could go either way. I really don't know what's going to happen here. He's stunned. Running. Zero kick. Off the ropes, rebound. No, wait, reversal. In the corner. Suplexed him out of the ring. Nine. Daniel Bryan has to get back Two. in. Three. He's saying, I'm smarter than you. Roll up, one, two. two. No, still not over with that. It's just not working out for Daniel, but the, but the backslide might, no. The rope break in play still. Got to get away from those ropes. Cross seasonal dream match here. Still going in a rolling elbow. That time, Christopher Daniels doesn't get back up, and he's shaking up here. Arm drag. He could be injured. The clock is ticking away. Oh, the psycho knee! Out of nowhere! One, two, three! And Daniel Bryan gets it, but it wasn't that easy. He can chant and brag all he wants, but deep down he knows he barely got through that match, man. Wow. 
Wow. Oh, wow. 100% match evaluation. Next up, we have the Undercard Women's Championship. It is number one contender, Hikaru Shida versus current champion, Gail Kim. Gail Kim defeated Awesome Kong three times in season 10 and is now defending her title for the final time here in the series finale against Hukaru Shida, who started off season 10 barely getting any victories and completely turned things upside down. This is going to be really interesting. If Hikaru can pull this one off, it would be huge. Uh, let me just change the settings real quick. Outside, off. DQ, off. Run-ins, no. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Here we go. Fight! Should be back to normal with the rules. Uh, but, you know, referee's discretion, as always. They're going to feel each other out. They're going to dance around a little bit. Drop kick to the chair. Akaru strikes first. Champion off the world scale. Kim in the silver, but she's holding on to that gold. You all know. She had a great season 10. And uh, was a former women's champion before that. Whoa. As this final season was the season of greatest champions. And I mean, Hall of Famer Gail Kim, who can say she's not? And she's got to prove it here with the test of strength, but goes down low. Snap there. Akaru's very fast and uh, can accelerate with momentum almost out of nowhere. So you got to be careful of that. Jumping down with the suplex. Just a straight punch to the face. Oh, kick to the leg. Low kicks by Hakaru. Those dangerous kicks. Something to watch out for. And again, just spacing her out. Keeping her on her toes and then kicking at him. But the jumping forearm by Gale. Akaru Shida has been in high profile matches before. He defeated Ronda Rousey in her previous season. And now has the opportunity of a lifetime here in the series finale to uncrown the champion. Figure yeah. four. She's won matches with that. I don't think she's going to win right now, but yeah, it definitely will weaken the legs of Hakaru. And if you take away that weapon, I don't know what Hakaru has left. I would say those kicks are the most dangerous aspect of her moveset. And Gail Kim knows it. Gail Kim is an educated performer, Hall of Famer, TNA knockout, multiple time women's champion here in the undercard. Slapping her down. Oh, yeah. sliding elbow. Hakaru no sold it. Into the corner. Coconut Crusher. Again with the low kicks. We're going to see a lot of those. Scoop Slam right in the center. Got off a little bit wobbly, but struck right back. Urkarana by Gale. They're both fast. I mean, they have a lot of similarities. But they got to get over their differences and just focus. Coconut Crusher again. Diving knee. Good job for Hikaru to follow that up. One move in. Enough! Oh, signature. Air raid crash by Gail Kim. First cover of the match, and that's only a two count. Neck breaker. Yeah. 
Figure four still locked in. Akaru shaking her head saying no. Will she ever give up? She's a warrior. She doesn't have it in her blood code breaker. But Gail Kim's going to put her down one way or another. Anyway, she can from behind. No, that was a mistake by Gail, and you don't see that too often either. Drop kick, but it's still back and forth here. Drop kick again. That time to the back of the head. Knocked her all the way down. A little bit shaky. Maybe uncomfortable. Maybe not satisfied with how this match is going right now. Gail Kim to be disappointed in her own performance. And that that's a serious thing that athletes at this level have to deal with. Something might not go your way, and how do you adjust? Code breaker, signature move. It's a big way to do it. Knockdown. Figure four again. Gail's trying to make Hokaru give up. We still have a lot of matches left. Don't go anywhere. Off the rope. Yeah. Rebound. Tilt a whirl. Arm breaker. And a leg drop to follow up. Huge moves by Gail Kim, the champion, with the big elbow there. Ten minutes gone. Ten minutes. Spear wide. Hikaru with no follow up, though. Forearms to the chest. Gutter dizzy. Elbow. Try it again. Back to page one. Oh, that time kicked her down low. Air raid crash. Almost on the apron. That's the hardest part of the ring. Don't forget it. Cover. Charles Robinson in position. Three. And it's over. She just wore her down and took control. I'm surprised by that. I really thought Hikaru might have had a little bit more fight left in her, but still champion forever. Gail Kim, how will it all fare in the end? Because there's only one title to be defended, and of course it's the main event. Uh, but next up, we have John Cena versus Ric Flair. The greatest of all time. Who is it? Both of these guys have had championships 15 times. When, when you talk about that gold, you talk about that obsession of being the best. These are the two that you have to look at. They've won every match they can win. They've won every belt they can win. They were both just shy of succeeding there in the undercard season 10. And, uh, I mean, John Cena had a better record. But this match has to happen because we just have to know. We just, I need to know. Like, per, for my own sake, uh, let's keep it to level 6. For my own sake, we need to know who is the greatest of all time. Fight! Woo! Da, 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 da. Off the ropes. Here comes John Whoa. Cena. Back body drop by Ric Flair. Woo! It's Boston or West Newberry, Massachusetts versus Charlotte, North Carolina right now. Got major sports teams going at it. Sports stars, Manhattan drop all the way to the ground. Ric Flair stomped to the leg. Starting early. Master of the figure four knows exactly how to twist an ankle and make a man tap out. But this is John Cena. His whole attitude, his whole slogan is never give up. Never surrender, never back down from a fight. John Cena just got knocked down there by an elbow. Ric Flair with a knee. Close line. Nice elbow to follow up. John Cena with a good combination. Keeping it going. Keep that momentum at the max. Oh, oh powerbomb. 
might have been looking for a Cinerana, and Ric Flair did not like that. One woo. One more woo for you. Those chops to the chest. Just take the breath right out of your opponent, and Ric Flair's got to get back to his feet and start chopping away at the greatest of all time, John Cena. Uh-oh. Five knuckle shuffle early on. You can't see me. And Ric Flair's already bleeding. That's how you know it's a real Ric Flair match. He's already cut himself open. Somebody in the audience just caught the razor blade. <laughs> We're breaking the rules. And so is Ric Flair, the dirtiest player in the game with the backdrop. Center of the ring, stomping at the legs of Cena. Cena back to his feet, though. Ooh. Punches, chops, back, forth. Undercard, classic. A finale filled with cross-seasonal dream matches, season 10 dream matches. Oh, Luthez press off the bat, off the bounce, off the ropes, and a knuckle to your face. And a suplex for you outside the ring goes Ric Flair. And Cena's going to follow him out here. We got a backstage brawl right now. Oh, into the barricade. Wait a minute. Didn't knock all the way down, gut wrench. We are live on Twitch. This will be posted later on YouTube. And don't forget, you can still check it out. All the episodes are up there. You can watch. You can binge watch the season. And we've had all kinds of themed seasons. We wow. had a... Uh, we had a season of just combat, violence. We had cartoon. I mean, we featured every character I could damn well think of, except for the ones you saw earlier in that special guest battle royale to start their show, and Optimus Prime was the winner of that. And now Rick Flair with the tumbling chops. and a kick down low. Fuck off. John Cena and a ten adjustment! And he hits it! But he's gonna pull Flair away from the ropes, and he does! Attitude adjustment followed by the five knuckle shuffle, usually it's the other way around. Ric Flair back to his feet, what the fuck? This old man won't die. Pool of blood still dripping from the head of Flair and the 16 time champion, two time Hall of Famer, one of the greatest of all time, hooking the leg. One, two, and an awkward cover might have got it done, but Cena kicked at it too. Ready, STFU! It's locked in deep. John Cena's finishing submission. And more Woo! chops. Woo! Come on, man. Woo! Don't do this. Not like this. Woo! Oh, Cena! Sunset Woo! flip. Two. No, not enough. Exactly at 10 minutes was that kick out into the corner. Big knee. And a double arm reversal. No. Outside you go. This time Cena's going to wait. Is that a smart play? Because Ric Flair's recovering now. Slow to get back in. And they're back at it. Small package. Cena. Too confident. Oh, God. Again. One. Two. Two. Charles Robinson hit. Came down for the three, and John Cena was an idiot. <laughs> Why did you let him recover? Oh, boy. God dang it, Ric Flair pulls off a huge victory here at the end. And next up, we have... A cross-seasonal dream match that I've been waiting for for a long 
long time. When we talk about the undercard, in my mind, I think of like all the crazy characters we've had. And these might be two of the craziest. Oh, you just raided at the perfect time. Because I was just explaining to everybody that we are doing a cross-seasonal dream match. It will be Father of the Year, Kratos versus Thanos. Here we go. Fight! The God of War versus the Bubble Snapper. Oh, Father of the Year right here. Who's the best dad in the universe? Slap to the face, no respect. Thanos competed in season one of the undercard. And Kratos, I believe, was in season five? I should know that, but listen. <laughs> We've had like a million people compete. All right. <laughs> I should know myself better than this. This show is too crazy. I can't keep track of everything. All that matters is uh, Team Halloween defended and held on to their belts. Somebody's bleeding already. That's a good sign. Oh, Thanos trying to choke out Kratos. That could be Kratos' only weakness is the fact that he needs to breathe air. I believe Thanos is busted open, spinning chop to the back of the head. Ugh. A uh, Guardian of the Galaxy. Thank you for the sub. I really appreciate that. Thank you for the flying pogger face. I don't know what that disaster you just made is, but I don't, I don't want to see that ever again. That creeps me out. It's my face, and I hate it. Stopping him off the ropes. And we also saw Gail Kim defend her women's championship already. But we still have some more matches left. Kratos punching away at Thanos. Why do their names sound similar? There's a question for uh, the philosophers to figure out. Knocked down. On the ground, body splash. Charles Robinson with a one. Lock up. Slap him down. Two. Uppercut. Mm. He used the he used the gauntlet. He used the big power glove. He's got all the infinity stones in there, dude. <laughs> the undercard is awesome. We need more. No. <laughs> you gotta leave him wanting more. That's the. Uh... Part of the gimmick. It's the end of the undercard. It's probably not Boy, the end of wrestling gone. content. I'll, I'll, I want to do like a modern WWE game at some point. If the new one comes out, when do they usually come out? Like October, November? Like if 2K25 comes out or whatever, I'll probably get that. We'll do stuff with that. March? Two. Oh. Well, then I guess I'll be back in March. See you guys in March! <laughs> what the hell? March? What the fuck? Oh, God. Yeah, I'm out of the loop with the new age, like, wrestling games. What the heck is Kratos doing? Oh, my God. <sighs> belly to belly off the fucking apron! And he's got a kendo stick. Oh. Half hatch, suplex. The hell is that? Right in front of the crowd. Oh god, just poking him. Oh, and punch it back. With the power gauntlet. The Doom Fist. Right to your face. And Kratos with a combination straight from Mortal Kombat 9. And Kratos wants some weapons involved in this matchup right now. He's dealing with a god on its own level. For the first time in his life right now. Thanos can just bend reality and brass knuckles! Kratos, with a pile of weapons, just trying to do some serious damage, or he's got something planned here. Oh my god, Gorilla Press! <laughs> that one hurt. Light tube! Light tube! Smash it! Smash it, Kratos! Is this a death match? I mean, they might fight to the death. It's not technically a death match, but 
Somebody might actually die. I don't. Can you kill a god? Can Kratos? Can Thanos die? I mean, technically Thanos died, but like he had to. Somebody had to snap the thing. So, spoiler for Endgame. The snap! No! Oh, oh my God! He just got snapped on the pile of weapons. Soplex. Why is there still a thunderstorm in the background? I'm so fucking nervous, dude. If we lose power, I'm actually gonna cry. Scooper. And now a series of punches. This match has not returned to the ring in a series of minutes. Kratos and Thanos trying to kill each other out here in front of the audience. Light tube. No. He dropped it. They don't know what they want to do. Get back in the damn ring! Yeah. On the shoulders, down to the ground. He did snap the thing. He snapped his thing right in half, dude. Somebody's got to use that light tube. Please. I want to see it break. Oh, yes! Fuck yeah! Blood! Rope break. It didn't even matter. Yeah. Thanos with the heavy rain. He's using the power stone right now to use the strength. Oh no, the snap! The finish by Thanos! Damn it! One, two, three! Well, that one was short but sweet. That was short but sweet. And Kratos was very unsuccessful in his own season and uh, lost here too. <laughs> Looking like the damn Grimace. <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> he does, kind of, right? Anyway, we got a uh, rematch for you today. We have a rematch. It's Roman Reigns. This is Gunther. Two of the longest reigning title holders in history. Going at it a second time here in Season 10. This is the only rematch on the card, believe it or not. And uh, we just had to have this one happen again. Thank you for the raid. I really appreciate that. You're currently watching The Undercard, Season 10, Episode 16, Series Finale. It's all ending here today. It is... The Tribal Chief versus the current uh, WWE World Heavyweight Champion, Gunther. Competing in the season of greatest champions for a good reason. If you don't understand why this is happening, I can't explain it any further to you. Thank you for the shoutouts and the follows and all that stuff. Oh, big chop! Gunther with the most dangerous chops in the business. Just tearing at the flesh of the Tribal Chief as he's trying to strike back. But he is winded right now. Oh, Gunther with the strike. Oh, and another chop. Roman just has to slam him to get away from that. Kick him while he's down. Oh, that one knocked him all the way to the ground. Acknowledge me. Yeah. Boot blocked. Come on, man. Woo! Another chop. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Gunther's not messing around. Last time this match happened, Roman had to choke him out with the guillotine. But it took him a while to do it. Yeah. And Gunther's not going to make this match easy for Roman either. Oh, Good. desperation cover. Maybe just to slow things down. Only a one count. What the hell? He was trying to mount him from the rear. Don't look. That's inappropriate. The OTC versus Gunther. 
You have to say it like that, otherwise it, it doesn't count. If you say his name any other way, you're doing it wrong. Oh, Big Lariat. The Tribal Chief using the whole power of the blood right, the bloodline right now with that elbow in the corner. Gunther with the overhand slap. It's like getting hit by a hot skillet. DDT plants him on the top of his dome. Oh, spare! Gunther turned around at the worst moment, but no sold it back to his feet. Oh, shoulder breaker. Chop City turning him into Chop Suey, and that guillotine choke. Tribal Chief uses that as a finisher in case the spear doesn't work, but. Gunther just slid out of that, hip tossed him out of here. Get the hell out of my ring. Who is the true champion of champions in the season of greatest champions? Where we still have a championship match in the main event still to come. Way later, after this. Whoa. From behind, German suplex out of the ring. Oh my god. Both going to take a moment, get back in there. DDT. Ooh-ah! Taunt by the Tribal Chief. You're a Nagi by Gunther. Someone's going to interfere. Uh, I think we turned interference off. Fuck that. No bloodline oh. rules here. Oh, no, suplex! Roman's on his own. He has to do this on his own to claim his right to the throne. Ooh, ah! And Gunther steps right into the choke again. Charles Robinson checking for a, a tap out. Oh, he could pass out, man. Could have been a critical finish and he missed the chop. And Gunther got planted again down on his head, a little bit wobbly. The Tribal Chief is on a roll right now. Oh, stopped. Cover. One, two. Kick out. Roman with those golden gloves. He could be an Olympic boxer, dude. He's got big hands. But he just got slammed with some steamed hams. One, One two. two. Not like this. Two and a half. Ten minutes gone, yeah. Ten minutes gone and a Samoan drop outside, and Roman's going to chase him down. Right in front of the crowd. Oh. He can still tap out. He can still pass out. Oh, Gunther had to escape. It's too strong for that. German suplex turns him upside down right in front of Michael Cole, who's apparently here at my commentary table. It's me, JR. I'm here with the barbecue chows. By God. That man's been broken in half. German suplex. And Roman no sold it back to his feet. Steel chair in his hands. You don't need that, son. Put that down. Oh, God. He just got slammed onto it. Cat and mouse? No? What are we doing? What's happening? Reversals. Both men have used everything they have. And are getting exhausted now. Yeah. As the time ticks away, Samoan drop on the outside. Thin padding and concrete, Ooh, nothing else. Oh no. It might be night night for Gunther soon if he can't escape that again. And Roman back into the ring. Oh, slammed him down. Don't mention Lesnar yet, his match is still to come. He'll be here, he's on the show. We got a cross-seasonal dream match that's going to blow your mind if you don't already know. Wait a minute. Travel Chief with the crucifix pie bomb. This could be it. No. Gunther has uwu on his undies. I think it says Imperium. Definitely doesn't say uwu. That would be weird. 
What does that even mean? Obviously, obviously it says oh oh, not oh oh. Learn your furry lingo. Power bomb. One, two, two three. No ropes in sight, and the travel chase remains. Ooh, ooh for Walter. Oh, yeah. You can't say Walter, though, because it sounds like his name's a Nazi when you say that. So they had to change it to Gunther, which is actually the name of a Nazi. Anyway, <laughs> back, to the, back to the show. We've got a 3v3. Now, how the heck do I do a 3v3? We have a 3v3 match for y'all. It's AJ Styles. And his partners, the Good Brothers. I think we just do it like this. We should put them in the green. Yeah, they're they're all wearing green. You see how that works? Versus uh, a Kofi uh, Kingston and his partners, the Nightmare Family, Dustin Rhodes. And his younger brother. Wow! We are only smoking Cody. Dash and Cody Rhodes. Stardust himself. There we go. It's that classic 3v3 in a season finale. Fight! And uh, last week, AJ Styles versus Kazushka Okada was probably one of the top 10 matches we've ever seen on this show so maybe go back and watch it because i'm not kidding dude that it was like absurdly good like it exceeded any expectations they were like reversing everything stealing everyone's moves it was crazy kofi kingston with a suplex uh interestingly enough kofi kingston was in the season one finale in a tag team match like this he was part of team smackdown and is now uh, teaming with the Nightmare family here in this one. And AJ has to get back into the ring. Do not want to be... Oh, watch out, Cody. Do not want to be in that corner of the opposition. Tag to Luke Gallows. Double drop kick. Too sweet. And a tag to Dustin Rhodes, the oldest man in the ring. Oh, I don't know what the hell that was. But it was a double move and it looked painful. Formerly Gold Dust, the natural Dustin Rhodes with a bulldog. And a sliding elbow, not a lot behind that one, but uh, might have been effective nonetheless. Tag to Carl Anderson. Midnight hour already. Oh boy, thank you for the follows. I really appreciate it. Neckbreaker. Tag to Cody. Here comes the young gun, Cody Rhodes. <laughs> He's so handsome. Crossroads reversal. Turn that into a Northern Light suplex. And now a strike exchange between these two. Cody, of course, here with his brother oh. as a tag team. Uh, we're just shy of becoming tag team champions. And now all the way to AJ. AJ versus Cody. It's kind of turned into a rivalry. Always trying to better the other. Yeah. Oh, that, but that elbow is the stamp of approval AJ needs. Slips out of the suplex. And Cody still wanting to do something. Just not working out for him. A little bit of a dance between those two. Tag to Kofi. Yeah. Possibly the fastest one in the oh, ring. Kofi Kingston. It did okay in Season 10. I mean, up against the uh, level of competition that he had, it would have been really difficult for him to do any worse. Or do any better, I guess. Yeah. Elbow didn't connect to Karana. Stomp on him. Gotta stomp a mud hole in his ass, as you do. Tag. AJ Styles and the Good Brothers have worked together before, but never before here in the undercard. That's why you got to see it here in the season 
final of season 10 and the series finale of the show. We did this for five years. Why? <laughs> my throat hurts. <laughs> From yelling at my TV screen all the time. Tagged Carl Anderson. The second best Anderson in wrestling. Don't ask me who the first one is. Because he might have a gun. Oh! Back elbow! Stomp a mud hole and walk it dry. Right between the balls goes the knees of the natural. And he missed the uppercut. Now he's going to pay for it. As AJ and Carl Anderson are working together against Dustin Rhodes with a reversal Irish whip tag to Kofi. Double move. Oh, it's not a new day anymore. The day is over. It's dark out. But Arn Anderson? I was thinking Mr. Anderson. Somebody's bleeding. It might be Kofi. Brush your dreads away so we can see the blood. We want blood. We want blood. Tag to Cody. Cody and Kofi. That's not a tongue twister, I promise. Elbow to the knee. And a snap suplex by the Phenomenal One. Cody finished the story. But can he finish this match? A big win here would mean a lot to him. Destino. Bulldog. Dustin Rhodes. A big part of the Attitude Era. Trying to pay it back to the younger generation. Wants to teach them a lesson here, but AJ backs all the way to his corner tag. To the big man, low blow. Luke. Gallows might be getting hung by the gallows soon. They can't figure this one out. Give up. Give up. We still have one more cross seasonal dream match and then the main event. Don't move a muscle. Canadian Destroyer. Right. Rope break. Old dog. He dogged his bull. Oh, and he. Popped his weasel. Oh, and he need him in the groin again. You're not allowed to do that. Actually, you are. Midnight hour, double finisher. They got across the ring. Can they get there in time? Oh, it didn't matter. There was a kick out and a destino by AJ and a kick down by Carl Anderson to Dustin Rhodes. A lot going on right there real quick. Watch out. Zero kick to the face. <laughs> the Gold Dust vs. Booker T feud was goaded. Change your mind? I don't want to. I agree with that statement. I don't think that's a hot take at all. Backslide gets out of it. Kofi's still bleeding with a quick combo. And Carl Anderson's going to have a hard time dealing with the speed of the formerly Jamaican bull drop. <laughs> Remember when Kofi was Jamaican for a while? That was cool. Why'd they stop it? Midnight Hour this time with AJ's help. AJ knew the move. He knew what to do. And now a half crab lock submission by AJ Styles. They're the Nightmare Family coming to save his ass. Somebody call my mama. Oh, what the hell? Oh, electric drop. I haven't seen that in a long time. Tag to Cody. Oh, what do they call that? The... Uh, the New Day move. They did the New Day move! I forget what it's called! Over. Biscuits and gravy! Over. AJ Styles with the clash! One! Two! No! Kofi broke it up. Kofi broke it up. Just like Xavier should have broke up with his wife after the page thing. I mean, what happened? Dropkick! It's not the first time I referenced that on the show. Yeah. What is going on? In the corner. DDT with a spoon full of sugar. The silver spoon in his mouth. The unicorn stomp? Is that... Oh, the unicorn stampede? Is that what it is? It might be. 
you you might be right. It was a spine buster and a tag to Carl. And the Good Brothers are chasing down Kofi Kingston. And from behind, no, nothing for you but a bulldog to the canvas in a 3v3 matchup here. And a punch to the face off the ropes and a knee to the chest. The crowd very loud here in the undercard arena. Tag to Dustin. Yeah. Old man Dustin. Oh, drop toe hold. Quick on his feet. Knows all the tricks of the trade. Talking beans, baby. Yeah. How'd I feel about Odyssey Jones replacing Big E? I didn't even know that happened until you just said it in the chat. So, <laughs> okay, I guess. Ah! Oh! The final reckoning, the final countdown, the final cut, and it could be the final move of the match, but no, it was a broken up by everybody. Awkward collision there, Styles Clash. Dustin is in trouble. One, two. Oh, no, that was a kick out. How the hell did he survive that Pele kick? AJ Styles was half a millisecond away. Oh. Alabama slam up by Cody. Crossroads one. Only one? He only did one. He only needed one. He only needed one. That match was a slobber knocker, but Cody finally finished the story here in the undercard and gets a big victory at the end. I'm here to say that my dad used to be a wrestler something something i don't know the words whoa <laughs> Sorry. my father said when i was younger fucking beans baby all right I can't. How do I remove people? Oh, there we go. I can't believe I'm about to do this one. It is the final cross seasonal dream match here. The Battle of Conquerors. Two time season winner Brock Lesnar versus former two time undercard champion. Shao Kahn. <laughs> you suck. The Conquerors going at it in a cross-seasonal dream match. It's the Beast versus the General. Fight. Oh, fuck. Yes, sir. Oh God, someone is going to get hurt and it might be both of them. And it could be Charles Robinson. I would not want to referee this match if I was getting paid to do it. I would stay far away from this. It is the two conquerors of the undercard. Two absolute dominant figures in the history of this series. Brock Lesnar versus Shao Kahn off the ropes. There is so much power in the ring. From the nether realm to suplex city, we're going for it. Knees to the back. Blocked it. Slammed him down. Ooh, kick by Khan. Now, Shao Khan has like armor pads and a, sh a helmet, but the Kimura, it doesn't matter. That None of that helps you out of that Kimura. Brock Lesnar just using MMA takedowns right now, former UFC champion. Yeah. There's one. Count them. Count them, chat. There's one. There's two. That was another German suplex. He didn't get all of that one, though. Oh. Maybe one and a half. 
That's a snap suplex. Now, does that count, or are we just counting the Germans? How does this work? Does any suplex count for Suplex City? Because Brock Lesnar can do a couple different types of suplexes off the ropes. Here comes Shao Kahn with the clothesline, turning him upside down. Oh, the shoulder missed. Clothesline. Kicks him off. Shao Kahn with another ground reversal. Does not want to play the ground game with Brock Lesnar. Clothesline again by the Beast Incarnate. Wow. There's oh another. That time he went right into the ropes. That was four, four suplexes for Shao Kahn and a scoop slam by him. Strike battle. Brock got the last word on that one, but he took a few hits. And Brock Lesnar kind of has a glass jaw. That might be his only weakness. He does not like getting hit. If you watch his UFC fights, this guy doesn't, he doesn't like getting hit in the face. Nobody does. To be honest. I've been hit in the face before. It's not fun. There's a takedown. Stomp. And another kickoff. It's like we're playing football, and this is the goddamn Super Bowl of it all. Oh, what a close line. Oh my god. Shao Kahn. Strike it back. Watch out. Oh, Ford. STO. Lesnar has to recover some of that stamina. Double suplex. Double arm. And he's got a claw. Yeah, and his whole hand in his mouth. Double powerbomb. Nope. Reversal there again. Shao Kahn has got this scouted. He might have been reading a book for once in his life. I doubt it, though. Double arm. Tossed him over. Elbow. The only person that can get away with hitting Brock in the face of Brock. Dude, what's cool about Fire Pro is you can do that. You can do, like, mirror matches. You could put, like, eight Brock Lesnar's in a match and have them do a battle run. You could do that in Fire Pro. Which is crazy, but true. Eight minutes in this one. Sledgehammer to the back. The beast is down. Shao Kahn is laughing. Watch out for the crushing blow. Oh, God, you're taking big damage. That's 35% of your health bar in any fighting game. You're so weak. Pitiful fool. Suplex. That time by Shao Kahn again, just choking bro. He's grabbing his throat, trying to rip it out like a fatality. Oh, no. God. Annihilation! Oh, no. no! The finisher! Finished him! One, two, three! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, he did. Brock did four suplexes, got hit by one Annihilation, and it was over, dude. It was over. Oh my lord. Yeah, yeah, it's a gross burning hammer as his finisher, yes. You are correct. Uh, but it's time for the final last match in undercard history. Ladies and gentlemen, it is number one contender, Kenny Omega. For the final time against undefeated Godzilla. Here is a fun fact about this matchup. Kenny Omega has only lost to Godzilla. Godzilla came in to season 10 as the champion and has not lost and would be the second person besides Andre to do this, to win a season undefeated. This is going to be historic one way or the other. Thank you all for watching the undercard. This is the final match.
Ba 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 bum. Ba 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 bum. And there's the knee. The most dominant champion I've seen ever. Godzilla, the king of monsters, just completely dominates the ring when he's in there. And how is Kenny Omega gonna outdo the odds? How can he overcome the potentially impossible? How can he do it? Oh, he's getting stomped on. Oh, he's getting stomped on. He got squished. Last time they fought each other, he got squashed. Oh, no, this is not looking good. Kenny has to do something. Scoop slab! How the hell? He just picked up Godzilla, but Godzilla no sold it. He didn't care. He didn't even know it happened. And he said, return the favor. Fuck you. Got to the chest. Let's get through this. Take down. Undercard title on the line. Spinning backdrop, roaring to the crowd, trying to conquer one final opponent. DDT by Kenny. He got a move in, guys. He did it. Oh, okay. Well, he's down again. But he did a move. Put it in the books. He did do a move. Which was more than he did last time they faced each other. Chop to the chest. Enziguri, kick to the head. Godzilla's down, but he won't stay down for long. It's Kenny, but no Spenny. Yes. Uh, speaking of which, Kenny versus Spenny. Uh, top five shows of all time. Last ride! Oh, no! I've rewatched it like eight times. I'm not even joking. I think it is my favorite comedy series. It's just goaded. Who the heck is Spenny? Kenny versus Spenny. What do you mean? Who's Spenny? He's a neurotic Canadian. Oh my god. One way angel! Nobody gets out of it! One! Two! Oh, Godzilla kicked out! Godzilla kicked out! What the fuck is going on? Oh my god! What did Godzilla just do? Oh my godzilla! What did he just do? Atomic presence over! It's over! Critical knockout! Oh, it was under five minutes! That was under five minutes. Are you fucking kidding me? He did the glam slam, yeah. I don't, I've never seen him do that before. What the fuck? <laughs> that was the fastest championship match I think I've ever seen. Ten seasons. Ten seasons. Complete. We did it. I can't believe it. And now I will tell you the undercard championship history. Season one, Lex Luger, Andre the Giant. Andre won season one. Season two, Andre the Giant. Earthquake, then Andre the Giant again. Andre the Giant won season two. Season three, Andre the Giant, Kazuma Kiryu, Mike Tyson, Kazuma Kiryu again. And then Brock Lesnar won season three. Then we had season four. Brock Lesnar, Baron Corbin, Simon Gotch, then Brock Lesnar, again, season four winner. Then season five, Brock Lesnar, Iron Man, Kratos, Iron Man again was the season five winner. Season six, Iron Man, The Boogeyman, Drew McIntyre, Iron Man again, and then The Boogeyman was the winner of season six. That was kind of crazy. Season seven, Kurt Angle, Neo, Boogeyman, Shaggy, Bugs Bunny, Neo, and Bugs Bunny again. Season 7 had the most title changes. Season 8, Shao Kahn, Luke Cage, Finley, He-Man, Shao Kahn, and then Luke Cage won Season 8. Season 9, Godzilla, Big Show, Braun Strowman, Godzilla, Big Show again, then Braun Strowman again, then Godzilla for a third time, and Season 10... Godzilla defended and was undefeated. The second person to ever do so besides Andre the Giant who came in at season one and was undefeated. Goatzilla. What a show. Thank you all for watching. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. There will be timestamps in the description of the YouTube video. I tried to put on the biggest show I could come up with. 
And I think it paid off. That's going to do it for me. Streams are going to continue at the regular, but the undercard is complete. Thank you all for the resubs, the raids, the followings, the support. And uh, I'll see you all for season 11. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm kidding. I'm joking.